Hello everyone, welcome to my online edu.com video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll see how to install Docker on Ubuntu operating system. So we'll be using Ubuntu operating system version 18.04 LTS, which is long term support. We have a link given in the description of this video on how to install Ubuntu 18.04 as a virtual machine in, into, your oper, into your Windows operating system. You can watch that video. But in this video, we'll see how to install Docker. So we, we will come up with another video to explain more on Docker and how to use Docker for the application development. But this video will only focus on installation part of the Docker into Ubuntu operating system. So first, you need to go to this www.docker.com and then go at the end you'll find this docs window here so if you open the doc window so the documents to in how to install so go to get docker so docker basically has two editions one is docker community edition which is called docker ce and docker enterprise edition docker ee so we, since Docker com the community edition is free, we'll be using this one and then go for the Linux and then Ubuntu. So here you will find all the instructions to install Docker into Ubuntu operating system. So you can go through this document, but I'll just, uh, you know, take you through all this steps that is required the first thing is required is uninstall old version so it's not required because this is the fresh installation but if you already have already installed the older version of docker you want to uninstall it then you can run this command but for me i am not going to run it because it's a fresh fresh installation is going to happen now we are going to install the docker ce We'll be using the will be install will will install using the repository. Okay, so there are three options. One is install using the repository, and you can then install from the package, or there is a you know convenient script cell script which you can you know run to install Docker. So let's follow the steps from the beginning. So install using the repository. So let's first set up the repository. So this command will update the apt package index. So open your terminal. I'll just zoom in so that you can view it. And I'll just press enter. All right, so the first step is done. I have updated the apt package index. Now it's asking me to install the packages to allow apt to use the repository over HTTPS. So these are the ancillaries that is needed. So I'll run this one again. Okay, I had to run this command, the sudo dpkg configure dash a. So this command will configure the dpkg and then, you know, then I can run the sudo apt-get install, then apt transport https and ci certificates, curl and software properties common. So now it is installing all these ancillaries required for docker okay so we have completed this step so now we will be running this particular command so this is the docker's official gpg key 
that needs to be installed. So it is okay. Now uh, we need to make sure that you know uh, the GPG key is installed properly. So now we know that it is okay, fine. So now we move to the next version. So we need to get the stable release here. So run this command. So this is also done. So as you can see, based on your you know version of the uh, version, it's, we are using Ubuntu AMD 64. So basically, this is the appropriate one. If you need different IBM power or this one, so you can go ahead with that. So now we'll be you know using installing the Docker CE Community Edition. So again, I abrogate update. Is done so now I'm installing the docker CE now two things to remember here one is you can install the latest version by using this command or if you want to install a specific version you know, then you can follow these steps so basically then you can install like this docker C equals to version but I am interested in, into the latest version so I'll run this command so this will install the latest docker community edition yes so this particular step is installing docker community edition particularly okay so docker is installed now so let's take for the steps that is written here so once it is done, I can now run a docker command just to check that docker is working fine. So sudo docker hyphen v. So you see docker version 18.09 is installed. So again to run this command. sudo docker run hello world so hello world is a docker container that is residing into the docker hub and we will run that container here and we will see how the hello world container is running locally so you can see it's pulling the image and now you see this hello from docker so this is written inside that hello world application so now if you run another command sudo docker images so here you see that hello world which already we ran this image is downloaded here and then again if you run sudo docker ps like an a so you can see that the hello world was executed previously but right now its status is exited so that's it that's how you need to install docker and if you follow this installation document uh, you know uh, properly you will be able to install docker without any issue you can you can also instead of you know uh, installing the docker from the apt get package you can install it from a package itself by downloading from this particular uh, url and then run this command to you know uh, install docker so that's it uh, that's it from this video tutorial if you want to uninstall docker community edition these are the two commands that you need to run 
okay thank you for watching this video i'll i'll prepare another video on how to what is actually docker how the containerization of docker is actually working and i'll showcase one real time example with some php application that how a developer can locally run their php application inside a docker container keep watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you